Oh yeah, people, this is Jeff Yalton, your teen life coach. You've got questions. I got an opinion. You might not like it, but it's my opinion, and my opinion counts. I'm tuning back in with you. I got an email for an English project that's due. I, I think it's due today. <laughs> I apologize, teacher. The dog ate my homework. I'm a little late. But anyway, this young lady wants me to talk about drugs, alcohol, sex, and teen pregnancy and parents' divorce and how it affects the lives of teens today. First topic to talk about is drugs. Don't do drugs. Young men, you're too smart to be stupid. Some of you won't believe this. I'm 37 years old. Never in my life have I ever picked up a cigarette, a drug, or anything. Don't be stupid. And don't give me this crap about peer pressure and everybody's doing it. Everybody is not doing it. And if your friends do drugs, I'm going to tell you right now, you're probably going to do drugs. If your friends drink, you're probably going to drink. And don't tell me that just because they're doing it, it doesn't mean you're going to do it. Because I'll ask you this question. If they're doing it and you don't do it, then why are they even friends of yours? Surround yourself with like-minded people. Don't do drugs. Alcohol. Don't be stupid. You don't need to drink to like yourself. You got to like yourself. Self-respect, self-esteem. You don't need to be accepted by people. You have to have acceptance within yourself. And when you have acceptance within yourself, it's other people that seek the need to be accepted by you. I don't need to sit here and random give you statistics about people on drugs, people drinking. I'm just going to make this one point. Chris Farley, one of the greatest actors of our time. Tommy Boy, best skits on Saturday Night Live. Got addicted to drugs, alcohol, sex, and now he's dead. Don't be stupid. You're too smart to be stupid. Sex. <laughs> I want you to have sex. <laughs> sex is awesome. <laughs> sex is great. <laughs> when you're married, when you're married, 14, 15, 16, 17 years old, let me tell you something. Love is an emotion that means nothing without a commitment. You don't know how to have sex. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know about love. You don't know about commitment. And you ain't ready to have a baby. When it comes to sex, ladies, I want you to know your body is very special. And you need to have self-respect and treat your body as if it's special. And young men, you need to understand that all young girls, they have a daddy. Number two, I know that you think you've got two heads. And no matter how big you think one of them heads is, the brain is in this head. Don't be stupid. When I was 18 years old, I had a child. I didn't always do the right thing. I wasn't always a good father. But at 18 years old, I also wasn't ready to have a child. And you need to understand that you have to be accountable for your actions, responsible for the decisions you make. And a simple point that I'm trying to make to you is at 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, I know people 25, 30, 40, 45 that aren't ready to be parents. Don't bring a child into this world if you're not ready to take care of a child. Protect yourself. It takes two to bring a child into the world. And both of you need to be responsible. Teen pregnancy. It scares me today. Young people are bringing young people into the world. It's a child having a child. I'm not a big supporter of schools promoting safe sex. I think it should be abstinence until you're married. Now, I wasn't always the smartest person in the world, and I'm not going to say, yo, follow in my footsteps. I'm only here to give you my opinion. You've got goals and you've got dreams. You have a purpose and direction in your life. You've got to take care of yourself first. When the time is right, when you're married, 25, 26, 30 years old, 
you will become a better parent then because you will be ready to be a child. And don't tell me at 17, I'm ready to be a mom. No, you're not. You're ready to raise your self-esteem. And if your self-esteem is poor and you want to bring a child into the world because you think that child will love you, no, that's stupid thinking, stupid. Again, you're too smart to be stupid. If you are having sex, protect yourself. If you're smart, wait till you're married. Best decision you'll ever make. A parent's divorce. Young people, I want you to understand. Parents have relationships the same as you have relationships. It's not that as parents we're smarter than you, but we have wisdom and experience. When you have children and you go through a divorce, unfortunately the children suffer. But as children, you need to understand that the divorce is not because of you. You need to step aside. Do not take a side. Don't take mom's side. Don't take dad's side. Stay neutral. Tell them both you love them. And they can only hope that mom and dad will put the children first and do what's right to make the divorce easy on the child. Y'all, this is Jeff Yaldin, your teen life coach. You've got questions. I've got answers. I got an opinion. You might not like it, but it's my opinion, and my opinion counts. Young people, you're smart people. Do the right thing. Be patient. Don't be stupid. And just think before you act. Peace out to my homies.